बिस्मिल्लाहमान रहीम प्रोग्रेसिव मॉडल स्कूल क्लास सेवन सब्जेक्ट साइंस चैप्टर नंबर सेवन द लिविंग वर्ल्ड एंड इट्स सराउंडिंग इन दिस वीडियो वी विल कवर पेज नंबर टू एट लेक्चर इज अबाउट वेदर क्लाइमेट फैक्टर डेट अफेक्ट टेम्परेचर फैक्टर डेट अफेक्ट रेनफॉल एंड अडोप्टेशन ऑफ एनिमल्स फर्स्टली आई रीड द डेफिनेशन ऑफ वेदर और क्लाइमेट देन आई एक्सप्लेन इट वेदर वेदर मीन्स द डे टू डे चेंज इन टेम्परेचर एयर प्रेशर मॉइस्चर रेन क्लाउडीनेस रेनफॉल सनशाइन वेयर एज Climate is the weather condition in an area over a long period of time. Climate can be measured quantitatively by calculating the long-term averages of different factors such as temperature and rainfall. The both term is closely related to each other, but weather should not confused with climate. Weather is the particular condition of the region that is changed day to day. Weather is dynamic and change in a shorter period of time. Weather reports are prepared by meteorological department of government. Whereas climate is an average atmospheric condition of a particular area. So climate can be defined as sum of total of all weather condition that is rainfall temperature etc prevailing in a large area over a long period of time hence the element factor of uh, that affect the climate are temperature or rainfall these two factor determine climate of any region there are some factor that affect temperature sun is the main source of heat earth is far away from sun so it's only it's the only small area receive sun rays the the area that receive sun rays are the hot places of the earth and the areas that receive less sun rays and uh, they are uh, far from the equator are uh, warm uh, cold places factors that affect temperature there are three factor that affect temperature latitude elevation and ocean current these factor change the temperature of the earth from place to place firstly we read latitude latitude is the distance of a place north or south of the equator it is measured in degrees the angle of sun rays are not same everywhere due to the spherical shape of the earth the sun rays fall high around the equator that is the area of the center of the earth so it receive high uh, sun rays from the uh, 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 sun so it is hot and the areas far from the equator that is north pole and the south pole receive less sun rays so it is cooler places near the equator have high temperature as we move towards the poles near the uh, towards the pole the temperature decreases so the places near the equator are warmer temperature is measured in degrees you can see 90 minus 90 degree minus 60 degree minus 30 degree 0 degree 30 degree 
60 degree and 90 degree and so on. Our next topic is elevation. Elevation is the height of a place above the level of the sea. As elevation increases, air becomes less dense. Uh, basically, elevation is the height of a place above the sea level. As we go higher, air becomes less dense. Less dense means fewer gas molecules or the spread the gas molecule far apart. In that place, so the air cannot hold much heat. That is why temperature is low. As we move to uh, go toward the mountain ranges, there is less temperature. Then the land. Our next topic is ocean current. The surface of temperature of water affects the temperature of air above it. There is a continuous flow of current in the ocean. A stream of water in an ocean flowing in a constant direction is called ocean current. Some ocean currents are warm while some are cold. Warm currents make its surrounding air hard, so the part of the earth here warm air water experience hot climate and the cold water make its surrounding air cold. So the land area near the cold water current have cold climate and the ocean current near the equator current traveling near the poles are cold water current. The second factor that is the rainfall that change the climate. Rainfall is also affected by some factor that is the wind and mountain range. Wind had a great influence on the climate of the region in their path. A constant wind blowing across the region then it constant change the temperature. Different wind carries different amount of moisture. This affects the rainfall in a place. Winds that blow from sea to land bring rain to the coast area and dry weather to island area. You can see the blowing wind in the picture. The second factor is the mountain range. A mountain range act as a barrier to wind. It causes air to rise upward its slope. As the air rises up, it cools down. You can see in this picture, the air comes from the ocean to the left hand side of the picture is the moist air that it contain a lot of water. But as the air start to rise toward the top of the mountain, it get cooler. So the moisture in the air fall on the earth as precipitation or rainfall. You can see the picture. And it facing toward the moist wind and it receives great rainfall. The second side that is the right hand side when the air moves to the right hand side of the mountain it is the dry wind or dry air that means it has less moisture. It is called leeward side of the mountain or the side facing away from the wind. It receives little rainfall. By the time the moist wind reaches the top of the mountain, it loses most of the moisture. Our next topic is adaptation of animal. Firstly, we read definition. The process of changing future to suit a new or changing climatic condition is called adaptation. As we discussed in our previous topic, there are different regions of earth according to the climate. 
climate in that region are extreme hot or extreme cold so the animals adopt some features that help him to survive in that condition these are called adaptation adaptation helps animals to survive in that condition in which they live Adop- animals living in a very cold or very hot climate show special features to protect themselves from extreme cold and hot let us discuss the adaptation of animals living in two different climate the polar region and the tropical rainforest that is the hot climate and very cold climate firstly we read polar region as we know that polar region are snow covered region there is cold climate throughout the year so it is difficult for animals to live in that region there is minus 37 degree centigrade temperature so the animals living in that region is very difficult so they adopt some feature that help him uh, to survive in that condition firstly we read out adaptation in polar bear adaptation of polar bear fur thick fur keeps the body warm in frigid air and water so it cannot be easily seen in snow white fur helps the helps him to protect from their predators and also help in catching their prey big paws they have white and large paws which helps them to walk on snow claws curved in shape to dig through the ice they have teeth like the carnivores and they eating habit nostrils helps in be- in breathing and remain close under the water for a long time small ears and tail help him uh, to heat loss it have fat layer which keep him warm adaptation of penguin penguin have some features that help in polar uh, to survive in polar region penguin are white helping them to merge well in the snowy background they have a thick skin and a lot of fat which protect them from cold their bodies are streamlined and they have webbed feet to swim easily now we are discuss the second region that is the tropical rainforest the tropical rainforest are located around the equator the climate in a tropical rainforest is very hot and humid tropical rainforest are rich in variety of plants and animals life tropical rainforest lies on, near the equator so the run, uh, sun rays fall direct due to these sun rays the climate is very hot there are rich variety of plants and animal on this region there are two characteristic of this region that is plenty of rainfall throughout the year and the hot summer the temperature may be even higher than 40 degree as the number of animals living in a tropical rainforest is very large so the animals tend to compete with each other for shelter and food let us discuss the adaptive future of some animals living in a tropical rainforest frog the red eyed frog has sticky pads in their feet to climb up trees on which they live monkeys have long tails help them to hold trees branches many large carnivores tiger and hens have good sense of hearing sharp eyesight to locate their prey token birds have a large long beak this helps the birds to reach the fruits on such branches where they can sit elephant is the largest animals on the world and commonly found in rain forest they ha- uh, they have a big trunk which is used for picking up food and drinking water their tuskers that are the modified teeth which can tear the branches of trees which they eat 
they have large ears that help him to keep cool in hot and humid climate according to the climate third region is the desert desert have some qualities or some characteristics that is desert is hot because the temperature is high in the desert there is shortage of water because there is less rainfall wind carry sand walking on the sand is difficult so the animals adopted some future that is we can see the adaptation in camel they have large legs that keep its body away from the hot sand in the desert this way camel are adaptive to high temperature camel drink a lot of water or less urination and no sweating to prevent the water loss these features help him to survive in desert where there is less rain there is a hump on the back of the camel it store fat so a camel can survive for several months without food they have wide or broad feet that help him to walk on a sand they have long eyelashes and hairs on the eyes that protect her eyes and ears from the blowing dust